They roamed Earth for hundreds of thousands of years. The Neanderthals, our closest extinct human relatives, once thrived in parts of Europe and Asia. They were a resilient species adapting to harsh environments and frigid ice ages. Yet around 40,000 years ago, these remarkable beings vanished from the face of the planet. Their disappearance remains one of the most intriguing mysteries in human evolution. Many theories attempt to explain their demise from climate change and competition to interbreeding and disease. For thousands of years, Neanderthals and modern humans shared the landscapes of Europe and Asia. Archaeological evidence suggests they lived in overlapping territories, encountering each other on multiple occasions. The nature of their interactions remains a subject of debate, but we know they weren't strangers. Genetic studies have revealed a fascinating truth. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens interbred. This interbreeding left a permanent mark on our species, with most modern humans carrying a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA in their genetic makeup. The discovery of Neanderthal DNA in modern humans was a groundbreaking revelation. It provided undeniable proof that our ancestors had intimate encounters with these ancient humans. The percentage of Neanderthal DNA varies among populations, with individuals of European and Asian descent generally having a higher percentage than those of African descent. This genetic inheritance suggests that interbreeding occurred after modern humans migrated out of Africa and encountered Neanderthals in Eurasia. While the extent of their interbreeding remains a topic of ongoing research, the presence of Neanderthal DNA in our genes is a testament to our shared past. One of the leading theories for Neanderthal disappearance points to the challenges posed by a changing climate. Around the time of their decline, Europe experienced periods of rapid climate change, marked by fluctuating temperatures and shifting weather patterns. These environmental upheavals would have significantly impacted Neanderthal food sources, potentially leading to shortages and starvation. Their reliance on large game, which would have been susceptible to these climate fluctuations, may have made them particularly vulnerable. Section 5 The Struggle for Survival Competition for Resources Another compelling theory suggests that competition with modern humans contributed to the Neanderthals' demise. As Homo sapiens populations expanded throughout Europe and Asia, they would have increasingly competed with Neanderthals for essential resources, such as food, shelter, and hunting grounds. Modern humans, with their more advanced tools and possibly more sophisticated social structures, may have held a competitive edge in this struggle for survival. This competition, coupled with the pressures of a changing climate, could have pushed Neanderthals to the brink. Section 6, The Invisible Enemy. Were diseases the downfall? The possibility of diseases introduced by modern humans decimating Neanderthal populations has also been proposed. As newcomers to Eurasia, Homo sapiens may have carried pathogens to which Neanderthals had little immunity. Just as European diseases devastated indigenous populations in the Americas centuries later, similar scenarios could have unfolded in prehistoric times. Without immunity to these novel diseases, Neanderthal populations might have experienced rapid declines, ultimately leading to their extinction. Section 7. Beyond the Cave Neanderthal Ingenuity and Social Bonds Often depicted as primitive cave dwellers, Neanderthals were, in reality, far more complex. Archaeological evidence reveals a capacity for innovation and social bonding that challenges the stereotype of the simple caveman. Neanderthals were skilled toolmakers crafting sophisticated implements for hunting, butchering, and other tasks. They used fire for warmth, cooking, and possibly even for crafting tools. Evidence suggests they cared for their sick and injured and may have even engaged in symbolic behaviors, hinting at a richer inner life than previously assumed. Section 8. A multifaceted explanation piecing together the puzzle. While a single factor might not fully explain the Neanderthals' disappearance, a combination of factors likely played a role. Climate change, competition with modern humans and possible exposure to new diseases could have created a perfect storm that proved too much for Neanderthals to overcome. Their smaller population sizes and lower genetic diversity compared to Homo sapiens might have further reduced their resilience to these multiple challenges. The extinction of the Neanderthals serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of even the most adaptable species in the face of environmental and ecological pressures. Section 9. 
a lasting legacy, their mark on our species. Though the Neanderthals are gone, their legacy lives on, not just in the archaeological record but also within us. The small percentage of Neanderthal DNA carried by many humans today is a testament to our shared ancestry and the interconnectedness of all human populations. This genetic inheritance might even have implications for our health, influencing our susceptibility to certain diseases and our ability to adapt to different environments. The Neanderthal story is a reminder of our shared evolutionary journey and the importance of understanding our past to navigate the future.